Hi, I'm Colin from hdcctv.co.uk. This video I'm going to show you how to do playback and backing up of files using our OAHD DVRs. To open the playback screen, either press the play button on the front of the DVR or right click the mouse and select playback. On the top right of the playback screen is the date setting. Here you can choose what month and day you want and the days where there are recordings are coloured in green. Click on a date to load the recordings onto the timeline at the bottom. If you have the DVR set up to record constantly, the timeline will be green. And if the DVR is set to record motion, there will be yellow marks showing the motion triggers. We have this unit set up to record constantly until 9am and then motion afterwards. To playback, simply double click on the timeline at the time you want and playback will begin. You can zoom into the timeline to make selecting specific times a bit easier. You do this by clicking the mouse around the time you want and roll the mouse wheel to zoom in. If you have the DVR set to record motion only, where there is no motion the picture will freeze until the timeline catches up and gets to the next motion activation. Just above the timeline on the left are the playback controls, pause, rewind, stop, slow and fast forward. While you are playing back, each press of the fast forward button changes the speed from 2 times to 4 times to 8 times fast playback. With the slow button, every press changes the speed from half speed to quarter speed to 1 8 speed. These two greyed out buttons can be used when the playback is paused. They allow you to move forward and backward one frame at a time. The full screen button removes the timeline from view. To bring it back, move the mouse to the bottom of the screen. The next two buttons are related to backing up recordings which I'll cover later in this video. Finally on this screen, on the right below the dates, is the camera selection buttons. Here you can choose which cameras you want to play back. To exit the playback screen, either use the escape button on the front of the DVR or right click the mouse button. That concludes the playback section of this video. Now let's have a look at how to back up recordings to an external USB memory stick or hard drive. Backing up files can be done in two different ways. First let's take a look at file backup. You would use this method if you know what time and date and camera you want to back up. The main menu has a dedicated backup button. This will show you details of the USB memory device plugged into the USB socket and from here you can format the memory stick or click the backup button to open the file backup screen. From this screen you can search for files by selecting the date and clicking the search button. This gives you a long list of files. Here you can see the camera number, start and end time and file size. To back up the file put a tick in the box on the left then click start. Wait for the backup to end and then you can remove the USB drive. A better method for backing up is to use the playback screen to select the recordings you need. Let me show you. Go back to the playback screen and search for the correct date and time and begin playing back the action. Click on the camera window so it has a green outline and then when the playback reaches the start time, click on the scissor logo. This marks the start point and then either play back to the end point or click the mouse to the end point and then click the scissors again. This marks the end point. Do this as many times as you need to to get the, the files you want and then click the backup button located here next to the scissors. This opens up the file backup screen and you will only see the times you've marked in that box and you can click start to begin the backup. This DVR will back up the recordings to a standard Windows AVI file. Now this can be played back in any Windows PC using Media Player. That concludes this video on playback and backup. The OAHD range of DVRs is available to buy from our website hdcctv.co.uk or you can call us on 01952 505 696. Thanks for watching.